today we're going to talk about why holding companies are the best strategy for you to begin getting wealthy, for you to begin getting rich, for you to begin stacking up some assets. Disclaimer, this is not going to work in a week. It ain't going to work in a month. It's not going to work in a year or two. You're going to need some time for this to work. You're going to need some time for this to activate. Um, a legal strategy that I made in 2012 actually saved me recently. If I can make this where you, if you take nothing else out of this talk, you got to start doing things now. You cannot wait until the house is burning to almost burnt to the ground for you to go call the fire department. This is what many people do. Uh, yesterday I had the first webinar and for those of you who took the webinar, there was an additional recording. I did a screen flow, which was the one that was whack, and I did one through the GoToWebinar system, which is better, but it's still not as clean as I wanted, but both of those are in the art of holding. So uh, to work on that, I'm gonna do another one this Sunday around 4 p.m. I will send you updates on that. Uh, one of the questions that was asked was why do a holding company and i want you guys to put in the comments why wouldn't you do a holding company and i'm not trying to be funny or fallacious i, I really want to know because i was like maybe they don't understand how this works because once again i am the educator but i gotta take in consideration what you guys feel where you are because, you know, I got to come to where you are to give you the information and the training where you are so you can move over here. That, that's one of the big disconnects with a lot of this training. But in terms of cost, and let's be honest, there is a cost to set these up. But the cost is nothing in comparison to the savings. It is nothing. I mean... It, it, it's not even a full, it might be 3%, 2%, 1%, depending on how much money you make, the cost to set this stuff up to protect yourself. Because um, we want to insulate you from bad things that are happening. We want to preserve your wealth. want to help you create wealth and want to protect your wealth. One of the problems with a single member LLC is that courts are invalidating these every day. Now, one of the reasons that you're not hearing about this is most people don't have businesses. This isn't a hot and salacious topic. It's like, oh, someone got their LLC val invalidated. Oh, big whoop. Michael Cohen, they were on him before all of this stuff happened because when he created this LLC, which was just essentially a shell corp, and start running massive amounts of money into it in a matter of weeks, that got attention. You know why? Because it's just not normal behavior. Most businesses, unless it's a, you know, Apple creating a company. OK, Apple does that. Apple flows like that. But if it's somebody that no one ever heard of, mm, that's probably going to get flagged. That's probably going to have some issues because we've talked about this before. Most people in the country are close to poor. I was just doing some stuff with my banker and she just put it out. Most people are living paycheck to paycheck. People don't have any savings. And when I was telling her about, they did this study that if, you know, two that, you know, people had to come with $2,000 cash, most people couldn't. She said, I am not surprised. This is someone who can look in the bank account. This is someone who has seen thousands and thousands of bank accounts. She know what the deal is. And this, this goes back to this felonious nature of them get me a baller. There are just not that many ballers. There's just not that many people that can live well and maintain a separate household for giggles. It just ain't that many people. But part of this is we want to turn you into one of those people. Do you understand that if you get into Hustle Undergrad and you work your ass off this time next year, you're going to have a higher net worth than most people. Because most people's net worth is like 20 to 30K. That's it. That's it. 
you know, they got their house in there, but until they sell that house and realize those gains, it's locked up in the house. You get 20 to 30 K cash money in the bank. You're going to be better off than 80% of Americans. 80%. So uh, we're going to talk about this because like, again, I, I want to know what is the big fear or the pause for when I say, look, you're going to need to create a holding company. And from that holding company, you know, you're going to need to create an operating company. And if you get in real estate, you're going to have to do something completely different. You're taking advantage of the laws, the way that they're written. You can make money, save money by knowing what the laws are. And that's what we're going to do. Because, um, you know, yesterday was, it was a long day. I had like three consults and I had the webinar and some other stuff. But it was really good because I got a lot of great feedback and using the go-to webinar, uh, I have a record of all your questions. So I can go through that and adjust it because we're going to do another webinar this Sunday around 4 p.m. Because uh, one of the reasons that I just don't build this in a vacuum is I have to build it with you in mind. So there's what's going on in my mind and, and realize it's been 18 18 years since I've been where many of you are, or I mean, well, 18 years since I've been completely ass out, you know, I'm living a different life right now. And typically when you're living a different life, you tend to forget some stuff because who wants to remember the bad times? Who wants to dwell on that? You just like, Hey, that was a long time ago. Let's move on. But many of you are in real time distress. So we got to handle that from where you are to bring you up to you know, give you the real come up because just straightening out your money situation, meaning that you manage all the money you have, that can be like an extra 15 to 15 grand, just straightening out that situation. But once again, you must have a budget. And this is one thing, you know, I, I will get back on topic because uh, why LLC holding company strategy is the best. Let's go with Donald Trump and Michael Cohen. Let's say instead of the rush, because they were in the rush, let's say that they planned this out six months in advance. They created a holding company. Then they created a subsidiary or a child corp. And that corp had a specific purpose embedded in this articles of organization. And then they didn't just flow a bunch of money through there. The Donald who wrote out a check, Donald Trump writes out a check and funds the organization. This is called uh, a capital account. He funds this organization with $5 million with a check for one of his other accounts. They know where the money came. A lot of this stuff never would have happened. It wouldn't have happened, but people are impatient. People trying to get stuff done now and they get sloppy and they cut corners. And this is what happens because uh, I'm not going to get very political, but Donald is done as a president. He will fight it tooth and nail. He should just go ahead and resign, but he won't. He's done. And this is because of economic sloppiness. This is because of cheapness. This is because of pettiness. This is because he just has, it's, it's, I don't even know. I don't even know. But what you want to do is future proof your business. Because once you start getting into your business, making money, everything changes with money everything. Your banker starts talking to you differently. Uh, people who know how well your business is doing, the people you're renting your office for, everybody starts looking at you differently and they start treating you differently. And then your exposure to risk exponentially scales up. Somebody in your complex may do you doing well and somehow they'll arrange an accident where you hit their car. This happened to a friend of mine you will become a target. And this is why these strategies and stuff are so important because there, you know, there's a lot of people's like, I don't want to do this. And I want you to come out of your scarcity mindset because that's what this is really rooted in. I have X amount of dollars at this point in time and I understand you and I feel you, but that's not going to be the situation a year or two or three down the road. 
And what you want to do is prepare for the future now, because if you try to prepare for the future, when the future is happening, you've missed the boat. And this is what a lot of people do. Like in my situation on this YouTube channel, 2012, there's a video with my intentions of what I was going to do with the money that came in. And this was before 2013. So this predated that situation because um, sooner or later, you know, it'll work itself out. But in my trust, I have that the child to be invested in the trust has to live with me physically for 10 years. That's in the trust. I did this years ago. She don't know this. Maybe she knows now she's watching this, but because uh, she's she's uh, slowed her roll. But the thing is, I've designed this because th there's so many things you have to do, because I had a lot of people uh, will talk about the baby mamas, the, the, the BMs. You need to work on this now before you have kids. You need to do this before you have kids. When you're already, when your nuts are already in the fire, when you already have a situation, you're going to work eight, nine times as hard to rectify that situation. Now, there is a remedy. There is a solution with the holding companies because below this video, I have all of the webinars I'm going to do, plus there's probably two or three more I'm going to add, because what I want you guys to understand and what you want to know is if you live long enough, you will be old. See, right now, let's take MGTOW. MGTOW was started by a few people, and go ahead on YouTube and look up Barbar Bar, Barbarossa. He was one of the founding fa fathers of this. This movement isn't that old, so it's not had the generations of having two or three generations go through this. And I guarantee you, there's a lot of these guys who are going to hit 50, 60, and they're going to look around. They're not going to have any kids. They're not going to have any legacy. They're just going to have whoever they are. And that may good, be good enough for many of them, but for a lot of them, it's going to be empty. It's going to be very empty because I listen to the rhetoric. I listen to people talk. But once again, this hasn't been a cycle long enough for all the ramifications to come out the other end. And I guarantee you, there will be ramifications and they will be ugly, dark, and you will have some people committing suicide because they've messed their lives up by wedding themselves to this notion. You know, we offer a different alternative here because I'm not going to go MGTOW. Once again, I'm not talking junk about them, but I know what, I mean, I've almost died. And when you've had the, I guess the uh, good fortune to almost die because you almost died. I mean, you didn't die. When you, when you're in the hospital bed, things get very, very clear. What's important. What's not important. gets crystal, crystal clear. And I guarantee you a lot of these MGTOW dudes, they get in an accident. They're in the hospital. A lot of them will not be MGTOW anymore. <laughs> things, like I said, things get very, very clear. All right. Um, Let's see what is going on here. All right, I'm going to have to leave in a minute, but uh, I will hit the things and I will like once again, there will be another webinar this Sunday. Go below. You can sign up for Hustle Undergrad. The price has increased. It's uh, 200 bucks a month for 25 months and you will get the art of holding companies. Or if you just want the art of holding companies and consultations, that is a thousand bucks times 10. That is, yes, that's 10 grand. So pick whatever you want, fit in where you, and also if you're going to do it, get in before Saturday. Cause what I'm doing is, uh, I had a lot of people, I don't know where they got the URL, but they slipped in and I've added them to the class. But, the day of, I'm not going to be trying to add anything because I'm thinking and planning, I'm strategizing. So that's not going to be a day that I'm going to be able to add you. So if you want to get in and you want to catch Sunday, you need to get today or tomorrow, be in it. All right, Superstar Customs. Oh man, you ain't seen nothing yet. We, we going because I had some issues I was trying to do with my iPad and some other stuff and I was testing some stuff out. It didn't work out the way that I want it. So um, I'm going to do something a little different Sunday. I'm glad you enjoyed it. What's up, Joe Ray, Donnie Breeze, 89 Dr. Funk. Yeah, I mean, and th this is one of the reasons that I'm not building this in the vacuum. 
You know, we're all doing this together. What's up, Ben? David, awesome. What's up, Kareem Yi? I, I know, I, I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking because I want clarity from this from people who are in that situation. <laughs> What's up, El Arginine? That That is funny. What's up, Crystal Davis? Appreciate that. Yeah, we're going to fix that because that's really on me because I didn't read the questions, but I'm going to read the questions and then whatever questions aren't addressed in that webinar, at the beginning of the next webinar, we will address those. That's how I'm going to do that. What's up, Josh? Ganja? I know, Josh, most people's net worth is negative and this will catch up with you. You know, I was in San Diego for job purposes, guess that he got a mortgage for. Well, it just kind of depends on how he's doing it. What's up, Michael? Eric? Edward Coke? Uh, Donnie Breeze. Uh, yes, just to address this. So, also, answer this in the, in, the, in the questions. Who creates these webinars that are paid? See, this isn't free training. This is paid training. Each webinar will be recorded and placed in the art of holding slot in Hustler's Kung Fu Life Skills. So yes, every because I get this question a lot and I'm like, who, who creates these webinars for people who are paying? Now, if it's a free webinar, I get it. But once again, you must be a student. You must be signed up and these will be yours forever and ever. <laughs> Money laundering. Man, that, that, that be real, man, that's just, it's a sad state. David, I'm pretty new to your channel. I love it. By the way, you have done, uh, have you done any topics on private family banking? No. What we're going to do, handle that is through the LLC and holding company structure. Because there's, because one of the things I want to do to set myself apart, you notice there's a lot of people who are doing LLCs, business credit, and I mean, to be frank, most of them don't look like they have any money. And I, I, I definitely don't want to be lumped in with that group. 